This is section 2.5, formulas and applications from geometry. We're just going to be talking about a few definitions, work a few different types of problems. These are still real world problems. You need to keep your mind about you for things like um, you're going to be finding distances, the length of a side, that kind of thing. Those numbers cannot be negative. Fractions are allowed. Decimals are allowed. Negatives are not. First definition, the perimeter of a plane two-dimensional geometric figure is the distance around the figure. That is the sum of the lengths of its sides. This just means a 2D figure. It could be a square. It could be a rectangle. It could be a triangle, just so long as it's not a three-dimensional thing. And we're talking about the distance all the way around. Now, mainly in this section, what we're going to be doing is talking about using formulas. Um, in this case, they've given you the formula. Um, what this is, this is the perimeter of a rectangle. This is more for future reference than it is on this section. If we have a rectangle, and this is the length, and this is the width, what we know about rectangles is if this is L, this is also L because they have the same distance on both sides, and right here as well. And if we go to add them all up, we would have L plus L, which is 2L, plus W plus W, which is 2W. Okay, so this is the perimeter of a rectangle. We are given the length of 1, and we are given the width of 1, and we're asked to find the perimeter. Now, if you just understand what perimeter is and rectangle, even if you weren't given this formula, you could build it. I could say, well, this is 6, and this is 4, and I could add them all up. Let's talk about using the formula, though. The perimeter is 2 times the length, which is 6, plus 2 times the width, which is 4. So this perimeter is 12 plus 8, and that is 20. So the perimeter here is 20. Now, one thing that I don't want you to get messed up on is, especially in my math lab, you'll see the units after it. So it'll be inches or meters or whatever it is. Perimeter is measured in regular units. So a meter, uh, inch, foot, so on. Now, uh, this will, what I mean by regular units, this will be more clear once we get into other example problems later on in the section. Okay, we're given this formula. C is equal to 2 pi r. Now, C is circumference. And it is, it really is like perimeter. It is the distance around a circle. Now, the thing is with circles is they only have one side. So you can't really add up the sides like you can here because if you know how long the side is, you already know the circumference. So this is, even though it's kind of the same, the formula is very different. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r, and r is the radius, which is the distance from the center to the edge. Now, if you're talking about the distance all the way across, that is the diameter. The diameter is always twice the radius. In this class, we are going to use pi equal to 3.14. If I didn't use my math lab, we would be using the pi button on your calculator because it contains more digits and is more exact. But if you use the pi button on your calculator, you're going to end up getting a wrong answer as far as my math lab is concerned. So use 3.14. I want to find the circumference. I've got 2. I know what pi is. and I'm uh, No, I'm looking for the radius. I've got pi, pi and 2, and I've got the circumference. So let's plug in what we know. Circumference is 8.164, and that is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Well, I can do 2 times pi. 8.164 is equal to 6.28 times r. Now, this is a problem. Even though it's decimals and maybe it looks a little bit uglier, we worked this type before. It's in section 2.2. I need to divide both sides by 6.28. 
and you will, will get 1.3 is your radius. Okay, and again, these are in regular units. Circumferences are measured in regular units.